Welcome to Biology at Ease. In this video, I'll be discussing chromatin organization. So let's start with the definition of chromatin. Chromatin refers to the complex formed of DNA and histone proteins present in the nucleus of a eukaryotic cell. What are histone proteins? Histone proteins are the positively charged proteins that are made up of two types of amino acids, lysine and arginine. DNA being negatively charged in nature wraps around these positively charged histone proteins and forms the structure which we call chromatin. There are two types of chromatin, euchromatin and heterochromatin. Euchromatin are the loosely packed uncondensed form of chromatin which means in euchromatin there is considerable space between the histone molecules. The DNA present inside the euchromatin is transcriptionally active. That means the DNA inside the euchromatin can be easily transcribed to form RNA. Because of the loose packaging of euchromatin, these euchromatins are sensitive to mutations and they are easily affected by the environmental factors. The second type of chromatin are the heterochromatin which are the condensed form of chromatin. In heterochromatin the space between the histone proteins is less as compared to the euchromatins. Because of the dense packaging the heterochromatin are either transcriptionally inactive or they are transcriptionally less active which means the DNA inside the heterochromatin cannot be easily transcribed into RNA or they do not transcribe into RNA at all. Now heterochromatin are of two types constitutive heterochromatin and facultative heterochromatin. Constitutive heterochromatin are the types of chromatin which are always present in the condensed state and the DNA inside the constitutive heterochromatin is always silenced. That means the DNA cannot be transcribed into RNA. Facultative heterochromatins are also known as temporarily inactive chromatins. These are the heterochromatins which are present in condensed state only at specific time and in specific type of cells. The DNA present inside the facultative heterochromatins is temporarily silenced. For example, bar bodies present in the somatic cells of female mammals are facultative heterochromatins. Because of the dense packaging or compact nature of the chromatin, heterochromatin are least affected by the environmental factors and they are insensitive or less sensitive to mutations as compared to the euchromatins. So this is all about the types of chromatins. Now let's see how chromatin is organized inside the nucleus of a eukaryotic cell. As we have discussed, chromatin is made up of DNA and histone proteins. And what are histone proteins? Histone proteins are positively charged proteins made up of two types of basic amino acids, lysine and arginine. There are four types of histone protein molecules which are H2A, H2B, H3 and H4. Two molecules of each of these proteins combined together to form a structure which is known as histone octamer. So two molecules of H2A, two molecules of H2B, two molecules of H3 and two molecules of H4 combine together to form histone octamer. Several histone octamers are present inside the nucleus and these histone octamers are positively charged. DNA being negatively charged wraps around these histone octamer and a histone octamer plus DNA forms a unit which is known as nucleosome. So all these structures are nucleosome. All the nucleus combining together present inside the nucleus of a eukaryotic cell forms the structure which we call chromatin. So we can also say that chromatin is a polymer formed of monomeric units known as nucleosomes. What is chromatin? Chromatin is a complex formed of DNA or histone proteins or Chromatin is a polymer of nucleosome present inside the nucleus of a eukaryotic cells. Now, let's study in detail how this packaging or how the organization of chromatin is done. So, till now we have discussed that the histone octamer is wrapped by 
negatively charged DNA. This structure is a 2 nanometer nucleofilament which we called chromatin. So this is your 2 nanometer chromatin fiber. Now there is one more type of histone which is known as H1 histone and it is known as linker histone. This linker histone gets attached to the histone octamers due to which the space between the histone octamers gets reduced. So now less space is created between the histone octamers. And chromatin fiber which was earlier 2 nanometer in length gets reduced to a 30 nanometer fiber. So the 2 nanometer chromatin because of the presence of H1 histone which is also known as linker histone gets reduced to a 30 nanometer fiber. Further folding of this chromatin leads to the production of a 300 nanometer fiber 700 nanometer fiber and lastly a 1400 nanometer chromatin. The 1400 nanometer chromatin is produced at the metaphase stage of cell cycle. So this is how the chromatin gets organized inside the nucleus of a eukaryotic cell. Let's quickly revise everything. What is chromatin? Chromatin is a complex formed of DNA and histone proteins. Histone proteins are the positively charged proteins made up of two types of amino acids that are lysine and arginine. There are four types of histone proteins which are H2A, H2B, H3 and H4. Two molecules of each of these histone proteins combine together to form a structure which is known as histone octamer. DNA being negatively charged wraps around the positively charged histone octamer and forms a structure which is known as chromatin. This chromatin is initially 2 nanometer in length but by the addition of a H1 histone which is also known as linker histone this 2 nanometer chromatin is reduced to a 30 nanometer fiber. Further folding of this chromatin leads to the production of a 300 nanometer chromatin fiber which later produces 700 nanometer chromatin fiber and which at last gets reduced to a 1400 nanometer fiber which is easily seen in the metaphase stage of the cell cycle. So this is all about chromatin organization. I hope you are clear with the content. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching.